An honorable escort today for the body of a fallen Worcester firefighter who died in the line of duty. Christopher Roy's death is a profound loss at the fire station and in the community. People of all ages paying their respects to a man who bravely served. Late this afternoon, firefighter Roy's body was driven past the Worcester fire station where he served. A line of firefighters and family members saying a tearful goodbye. Today, people in Worcester and the surrounding communities show their gratitude and respect. Good evening, everybody. I'm Lee Martin, and for David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Firefighter Christopher Roy died battling a house fire early yesterday morning. He was 36, a two-year veteran of the department, and a devoted, loving single dad, neighbors say, who cherished his nine-year-old daughter. WBZ's Paul Burton begins our team coverage tonight live from his firehouse. Paul? I tell you, just an incredible outpouring of love and support for fallen firefighter Christopher Roy. When his body returned home to Worcester this afternoon, it slowly came by this Webster Square fire station. This was called his second home and the place he loved to serve. A hero's welcome as dozens of firefighters stand at attention to pay their respects to Worcester fallen firefighter Christopher Roy. As his body slowly passed by his Webster Square fire station, his family and colleagues break down. It's incredibly difficult. I think it touches everyone in this community. Throughout the day, support has been pouring in through hugs, prayers, flowers, candles, and gifts. You know, broken hot, heavy hearts, especially the firemen. Dressed in uniform, two and a half year old Sammy Jr. places flowers at the memorial, then pauses to salute the firefighters on station and in memory of firefighter Roy. Sammy Sr. says the bond is real and special because his son knows the firefighters here at Webster Square and has visited with them before. We feel bad, like very sad for the, the day for Worcester. So we come by salute for uh, make sure I show him how to uh, respect. From two year old Sammy Jr. to 62 year old retired Boston firefighter Daryl Smith. I didn't know this gentleman. Any loss of one firefighter is a family loss. Roy was a two-year veteran of the Worcester Fire Department. Those that knew him say he loved to serve his community. On Sunday, he, along with his fellow firefighters, were battling this fire on Lowell Street at this multifamily home. Roy lost his life in the fire. And he went in to save somebody he thought was in there and didn't make it. That could be me. They're doing their work. They're the best. Roy leaves behind his daughter, his mother and father, and a brother, and clearly a host of firefighters from across this country who will miss him dearly. Reporting live in Worcester, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. So sad, Paul. Thank you.